Hey guys, it's Jess from Knockout Print Shop. I'm gonna do another plan with me and give this whole plan with me thing another shot. Oh, this is kind of out of frame. There we go. So I kind of cheated this week because I am plan or I'm filming this on a Tuesday and obviously I had stuff to do yesterday, so I had to kind of start doing this. So we're gonna start off with my usual like we did last time and put my headers down. So I keep all my stickers based on the color scheme in these little mini binder sheets in a mini binder. So I have all my Neapolitan ones. So let me find my work headers. Where are they? Oh, they're here. Okay, so just like I did last time, ah, there we go. I am going to put down work headers on each day except for Sunday. That's the only day I don't technically work, do work for my gym, unless it's like the end of the month or there's something that comes up that I need to do. So I just put my work headers on each day. So those of you that this is your first plan with me, with me, I have the Inkwell Press Livewell Planner and the Flex layout that I use to plan things for my um, other business, my women's boxing gym that I run. And I do put personal stuff in here, like chores and home things. Oh, whoop, wrong one. Okay, so that is my work header. So let me just flip really quick. I know this is gonna kind of be all over the place, but this is last week. I was really happy until I decided to put washi down and make Valentine's Day look insane. So this is, don't disregard this part. But so this is typically what I've been doing is putting down these work headers first. The next thing I usually do is put down my hydration sticker. So I already started to do that. Like I said, I kind of cheated this time because I couldn't film this on Sunday because The Walking Dead was on and it was Valentine's Day and I just didn't feel like filming. So I was supposed to do it yesterday but got too busy. It's Monday and now we're doing this today. Okay, so hydrations are down. Those are good to go. Um, the next thing I want to do, okay, so I usually have a notepad piece of paper like I always say where I have a bunch of a list of things I need to get done that week so I can put them in certain days so it looks like let me put down before we get into specific tasks some of my regular home related tasks so I always use this to note my home related chores and I do want to use a daily box header so many stickers okay so let me find oh there they are Okay, so I do want to use a daily box header, and I'm thinking, let's see, I used, let's use this. So we will put this home sticker right here. So I usually use the daily box headers to note some kind of everyday tasks that I usually do. And I always flip back to the previous week as if I don't know that I do things the same each week. <clears throat> let's see am I gonna put one yeah what the heck we'll put one here so typically what I've been doing with each of these inkwell press color palettes is I stick with the color palette the whole month so this is Neapolitan for February and then I kind of pick two of the colors so let me just flip back to kind of show you that so the first week of February I use the tan and the kind of grayish color the second week, which was last week I used the brighter colors, the teal and the salmon. And this week I'm gonna use um, the light brown and the salmon again. So let's see, on Tuesdays we always do our grocery shopping, so I'm gonna put that in the home section. So a lot of my stuff is not super exciting. We pretty much do the same thing, um, regular tasks like chores and groceries and all that kind of stuff on the same day each week. So then I put my grocery and my trash sticker and I think I will probably do some cleaning this week, vacuum and stuff, probably on Thursday. And I'm going to go ahead and put that down. I usually don't like to put things down this far ahead because then I get mad if I to say that I didn't do it. So maybe we'll do that there. Okay. And I usually don't put down laundry stickers until the day I'm going to do laundry and Matt's been doing laundry more. So I haven't really been use, using these because he just kind of does laundry when it comes up. Okay. So that's the home related tasks. I also tried this yesterday where I just kind of put a um, 
flex bubble header that we make across the side of the daily boxes. This is not an original idea by me. One of a fellow Inkwell Press girl that does a customer of ours too, she stamps the word today here and I love that idea. And I'm thinking we need to make a sticker that perfectly fits there. But until then, I took these, which fit perfectly here and divide your flex and uh, layout in half. And I just cut a little bit off each side. So I like how that looks. So I might do that again another day, but we'll see, I'm just gonna leave that for now. Okay, so the other things, let's see, let's flip back again and see. So we got all my hydration stickers down, grocery. Do, 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 do. Okay, so next thing let's do is we are gonna use the new hockey stickers, these to put down Blackhawks games. So time to get out the phone and look up Blackhawks games. All right. So we used to have, or not we used to, we still do have a couple different versions of hockey stickers. We have more of a label style that has a puck, and then we have a full one that's about the size of the daily box. It's like a hockey rink. So we have those as well. All right, so last night was a game that was the 15th, and then they play the Rangers on the 17th. And then I did use Mochi stickers, her little, what are these called? Small boxes. So I'm gonna do that again, because I kind of liked how that looked. So they play on, what did I say, the 17th? And I don't mind how this looks up here, so we'll do that again, or maybe, yeah, we'll just do this. And then I just layered a little hockey stick and puck there, and then they play one more time this week. They play on Sunday, the 21st. So we will put another one of these bad boys down. And here. Okay, so we have that. And that's like the extent of my decorating because even when I decorate too much, it ends up looking horrendous. Okay, so that's that. And then I'm gonna flip this sideways because you guys know I cannot write on this one, it's the other way. So this is gonna be, whoops, the Hawks versus the Rangers. Right, yeah, it's seven, okay. So I use, and I'll put the other game in, I use the um, friction pens, the erasable pens, but honestly, I don't love writing in my inkwell with these. I don't feel like they erase that well. Does anybody else use these and feel the same way? Let me know. Because I want to, I mean, I, I like to write. I like the ink better in regular pens, but I just spell things wrong too often and erase things too often. Okay, so I have all my Hawks games down. Let's see, what else do I need to do? I think let's start referring to the list. Okay, so another thing really quick that I don't know if I'm gonna keep on here. So this little guy right here is one of our new divider strips. And I haven't been using divider strips personally because I don't split my day in two anymore now that I'm using multiple planners. But we made these, so we have this hexagon, connected hexagon shape in every single hexagon fits in between the line space, so you can use this as a checkbox too. So that's one of the kinds we have. We also have these stripe dividers, but um, I may take this off, but I wanted to show you guys that because if you are somebody that does like to split your day in two versus like to-dos and appointments, these would be good. Plus you can use this, like I said, as a checklist. So that's these. Okay, so let me see. So another thing I need to do, I need to go shopping this week. I'm not gonna worry about that. Oh, emails. I need to always put my email stickers down. So let me reach across and find these. Okay, so I might need these in a second. Mm -mm -mm. Here we go. So I need email stickers to send up follow-up emails. So I'm going to put this down right here and that will remind me to send follow-up emails to customers. Okay, so I got that marked off my list. Okay, so the other thing I need to work on is I was gonna, right now I have a Facebook group for the members at my gym that are into planners and I call it um, Knockout Planner Girls. And I think I might open that up to all the Knockout customers. So we, or sorry, Knockout Print Shop customers. So we have kind of a Facebook group we can all connect on. So if you're interested in that, let me know because I think I wanna do that. So maybe I will work on that. 
Let's see. Actually, I'm not going to put that in this planner. I use my A5 inserts for the print job, so I'm not going to even worry about that. Um, I do need to go to Goodwill and drop stuff off. So what sticker can we use for that? Maybe... <laughs> Maybe... Where's my bullets? This is probably even less organized than my last plan with me. Um... So maybe I will go, we need to make that a priority. So let's do that maybe on Thursday? No, maybe Friday. Okay. And I like, like I showed you guys last time, I like putting things on the line of the daily box. Um, so I want to drop off at Goodwill. So we'll see if that happens that day. Again, I'm probably I'm probably doing exactly what I told you guys I don't want to do. When I plan, is plan too far ahead and have to move things around. So this could backfire on me, this route that I'm going right now. Okay, something I know I do need to work on, which I think I will probably do later today, is work on the newsletter for my gym. So what I want to do for that is use these. These are such versatile stickers. I love these because you can use them for writing, journaling, blogging, emails, writing letters, anything. So I'm going to put this bad boy, we'll put this down here. I don't like to put icons too close to each other. Okay, so I'm going to work on March newsletter. We're going to take this strip off for right now. Oh, great. See, I even made a line so that I could try to put that on straight when I showed you guys. I'm just going to put that off to the side. March newsletter. I've personally been liking not having to use divider strips and having multiple planners. I didn't think I would, but it's working out a lot better for me. Okay. So, let's see. Got that. Um, I do need to do... Um, this is a priority. I do need to do this a PCI scan for my merchant services at my gym. So I'm going to put this right here because I can't forget to do that any longer. I'm going to get myself into some issues here. So we need to do PCI scan. So I need to remember computer. Remember to bring my laptop to the gym. So I got that. Okay. I do need to make my tax appointment to my taxes done. So I will use, let's see, where's my phone sticker? Okay, so we'll probably use, uh, am I out of these? I want it in the orange. Let's see, maybe I'll use this. No, wrong one, darn it, wrong color. Here we go. Um, so I'm going to put this right here and just say make tax appointment. I don't even think, I don't need to go in. I basically just need to email him and or call him and ask him when he needs, well, I know when he needs my stuff by to some degree, but okay. So we'll see. This feels like a very discombobulated week. Okay. Oh, I know what I need to do. I need to use another one of these pen stickers because I need to work on editing the copy for the website. And I think I will do that tomorrow. Okay. Oh, I don't like, I'm super weird about stickers being close to each other. <laughs> so maybe I'll put this down here just because I can't stand the similar stickers by each other. Um, Edit the website copy. Okay, that's on there. All right, so let me see here. Um, I do have a few other things I need to do, but I don't know that I'm going to put those on a specific day because I feel like I'm kind of not setting myself up for success this week the way I'm doing this. Oh, I need these. I feel like I'm trying to plan too many things too far ahead of time, and this may not work out good for me. Does anybody ever do that too? I know I was talking about that last week. Okay, so I need to get my notes section situated here with meals. So we will use, brighten this up with the salmon one. So I am going to put this bad boy down right here. 
and I have a sheet of paper over by my fridge with all my meals. I'm not going to do that right this second with you guys. I also need to put Walking Dead is back. So I need to put down a Walking Dead one. We will put that right here. Does anybody watch The Walking Dead? If you do, holy crap. The premiere was unreal. Like, insane. So intense. Give me a thumbs up on this video if you like The Walking Dead because it was, like, I can't even believe it. Like, I can't stop thinking about it. Okay, so these are another new sticker. These are going to be our habit trackers. So they will fit perfectly in the column, the note section of the, the uh, classic. And we can use these in any planner, obviously. But I'm going to use these because I like to track my little puppy champ when... Um, He's got like bad doggy teeth, so I need to brush his teeth. So I'm going to put in here Champ's teeth so that I can track each day that I'm brushing his teeth. So hopefully that will help me remember to do that. I really like how these turned out. I think these are pretty cool. So that is that. Um, let's see, what else do I need to for sure do? I do need to do some planning for our Beagle Freedom Project um, fundraiser, but... I can't put that on a specific day. So maybe I need to do one of my check boxes here for, um, I like to make it just like a weekly checklist here. Are these the right ones? Are these for the A5? No, these are the right ones. Okay. We have these for the A5 and for the classic. Okay. So I need to work on Beagle Freedom Project, the slider for the website. We're going to actually have a Beagle Freedom Project sticker, charity sticker sheet. So we need to work on that. Um, I need to do, and I'm sure you can see what happens when I make weekly to-do lists. I end up with lots of arrows over. So I do still need to do, I need to film a promo video. I'm going to put this down here again and see if I do this. This is for the gym. Okay, and I do need to, I should probably like make a little to buy section, but I need to buy yoga pants and sports bras. Okay, so I run a gym and I should own way more yoga pants and sports bras than I do. So I need to stock up because I basically wear workout clothes every day because that's my job. Um, okay, so I want to show you guys one other thing with this little strip sticker. Um, I'm not going to use these in my spread, but I want to kind of show you this. Another thing I noticed when we made these is this is not lined up perfectly, but you can line this up here if you want to and literally have three check boxes instantly right there. And it's a little bit more decorative. So there's like quite a few things you can do with this. Um, I'm just going to take it off because like I said, I'm not going to use this. Oh, you know what I could have done? I could have put it down here. Let's see how it works down here. Oh, perfect. Look at that. It works there too. Well, too late now. I've probably taken all the stickiness off by touching it so much. Okay, so I think that is pretty much everything that I typically do. Um, I'm sure there's a few other tasks that I'm totally forgetting and spacing out on because I really feel confused now that I did this on a Tuesday, so I'm all confused. Let me show you one more thing. These are our new me time stickers. So we all know that Tanya and all of us are all about like scheduling me time. It's even in our mission boards. So we made these cute little me time stickers so you can stick these bad boys down on a day when you need to make sure you put some, get some me time in. And I think, let me just show you how these work. So this is our mix sheet. So you've got a few from each color palette. So I'm going to take this one. This is one, this color in particular is from the Neapolitan. So I can put this, let's see, how does this go? I know we made them 1.5 wide, which means they will fit in the columns of the classic. So you could put it there, you could center it. I'm probably gonna center this a little bit more. Let's see. Or heck, here we go, let's do this. This could be cute. Oh, I like how that looks. That looks awesome. Okay, so, oh, one more thing. I keep saying that, like this is like a never ending just cluster of a video. These are our poopy day stickers. So having a bad day, you just need a poopy day sticker. So we have these in all the different color schemes too. So, okay guys, so that is this week for the week of the 15th. I apologize that I was kind of scattered and all over the place. I hope this maybe gave you some ideas on how to use our stickers, some other people's stickers and different ways to lay out your um, Press 
flex. I Stay tuned because I think we may do a sticker like this that's perfect to fit in the daily box this way. If you like that idea, let me know. Give me a thumbs up and comment in the comment section so I know if anybody's interested in a sticker like that. Also, let me know if you are interested in me creating a Facebook group for um, knockout print shop customers. I already have one that's more relevant to the gym, but I was thinking about allowing people that are not connected to the gym that are planner girls into that. So if that's something you'd be interested in so we can all connect on Facebook, um, let me know, leave a comment. And I think that is it. I have so many stickers. I feel super disorganized this week, but hopefully that gave you some insight into how some people plan, or me anyways, and some maybe ideas on how to use stickers. So I'm gonna quit rambling because I keep going on and on. Hope you guys have an awesome week and I will, try to film another one on Sunday so it's more effective and I'll post that soon. So I will talk to you guys soon. Thanks so much for tuning in. Bye.